What is up, guys? This is Moon Killer here, and I am back with some Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It's been so long since I put this game on my channel, uh, cause I just had so many bad environments that I couldn't record this in, internet-wise. Uh, I don't get to my it's the Switch's fault. Anyway, <laughs> let's not get into that right now. I think you guys know why, why I'm here. You guys know, you, like you guys know what it's time for. I'm, I'm a little late, but you know what? At least I got to it, and it's worth it. I'm gonna be doing classic mode. Um, I still haven't finished the World of Light. I, I try, I'm trying, I'm trying. It's just, it's just kind of annoying. But uh, I'm gonna be using Terry Bogar. Now I know, I didn't use Banjo. <laughs> I didn't use Hero. Or Joker, but you know what? I think I'll get to them one day, and I'll make a video about the past DLC that I missed. I especially want to make a video. I'm just going to be trolling with Hero the whole time. Because this dude is literally a walking Dragon Ball reference. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to be using Terry Bogar. And, uh, I, I messed with him a little bit earlier. No homo. And, bro, this dude. And when I say this, I haven't enjoyed a character this much since I picked up Cloud. I'm actually feeling confident, so I'm gonna put the intensity. I might get booba. Yeah. Alright, right there. That's it. 5.0. I'm confident. I love this character so much. I don't know a lot about Fatal Fury, but I know enough. Uh yeah, I know I know a lot about Terry. Alright. I guess cause it of the Street Fighter crossovers that Fatal Fury had, oh, as King of Fighters had, or SNK period. It kind of forced me to learn about the characters. Then I watched a Fatal Fury anime, only the first one. And I played the first game, which, uh, uh, that was a, oh, this is Stamina? Oh, you're about to get bodied. This character, he feel he plays? He doesn't play like Ken and Ryu. I feel like Sakurai put a lot of care into Ryu when he put him in the game. Adding his, his, uh, his original input commands was very clever of him. But, on Smash 4, he didn't really do it for me. And on this game, definitely adding the option from the always face his opponent did it, made him better. But, you know, Ken was just a way more better version. But even so, Ken and Ryu, they, are, they can only do so much. I feel like Kerry is the one. He's done perfectly. He's the one I've been waiting for, finally. He feels good to use. He feels fluid. He feels perfect. Ken and Ryu, I got scrambled a lot. I feel like even when I'm fighting multiple people, Terry could strive. Like, I feel like Ken and Ryu, I can only like do good with them if I'm fighting a 1v1. But with Terry, definitely I can take on multiple opponents at once. And I'm so happy during the, um, the Nintendo Direct. Sakurai, he wanted so much detail. So much detail of this character. Basically, let these young folk know who this man is. He's not Ken with the hat. He's not Brawlic Pokemon Trainer. I mean, let's be honest. He is. He kind of is Ken with the hat, though. I mean, come on. Let's, let's be real here. This dude is, is literally Ken. But yeah, the um, they said the original staff from Street Fighter 1 helped make Fatal Fury. So I guess you can't really say it's a Street Fighter clone like games like Mortal Kombat was. I always thought Fiddle Fury was a Street Fighter clone. Now having the original Street Fighter staff work on the game after um, ditching Capcom makes sense. Oh my god. <laughs> punch a woman. That's a reference. What I just said, punch a woman is a reference to an SNK game. <laughs> it's hilarious. Actually. In Capcom vs. SNK, there's a rap song that plays in the background. I think they removed that line out of later versions of the game. <laughs> oh my god. Whose theme song is this? Didn't it. Oh, I had this in my head for so long. It's not Geese. I think it's from Art of Fighting. Definitely from Art of Fighting. It just goes well with Bowser, though. But yeah, I was so happy when Sakurai went through the, uh, the history of Neo Geo. An SNK. I 
I know I'm playing like ass, but you see people aren't really giving me a challenge. This is the character that I actually feel strongly about, and I think I'm actually like there's a lot of characters with Smash. Like Bowser was just my favorite Marvel, my favorite Mario character. So, and I've been using him since Melee, but this is like the first character that Smash released that I actually feel strongly about. Now watch as I execute this guy. Are you okay? Come on, let it happen. Oh shit, I'm dying. I just want to get the super out. Are we still alive? Oh shit! Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> bust this shit open. That was kind of scary. I'm not even gonna lie. He just—he's fun. He's fun. He's fun. I mean, Ryu was fun, but this dude is just super fun. If that makes sense. Who's next? Oh, Ready? divine beings. You know what I noticed? I can't even make a joke about Terry beating up kids because there's actually children playable in King of Fighters. Not on Street Fighter though. I think it's a size issue that Street Fighter just doesn't want to deal with. But yeah, the size difference works on this game. I mean, it's barely a size difference between uh Dark Pit and Pit. I guess like I'm fighting him. You see any like young children? Or Arc System games, maybe, because those games are a bit more wild. Anime fighters. I remember, um, let me use some items. I rem I'm enjoying this character so much, I really don't want to use items. There was a, a game, Dragon Ball Z Buddha Guy, when the size difference actually mattered. I was fighting a Cell Jr., and this dude, he wasn't beating me because he was hard. He was beating me because I couldn't hit him. So that was definitely an issue. But a lot of PS2 3D fighting games are a bit iffy, so. Get up. Get up. Oh, Metal Terry. What a great character. Oh, that looks so cool. What a great character. It's been so long since I touched Smash. Oh. <laughs> These people. Uh oh. Bomb. Alright, so I'm gonna chase this dude out the stage and try to take his life. I don't know if there's any animals on um, SNK. I know there's someone Tekken. See, Street Fighter took a, a, right, a step forward with uh, Blanca being a beast man, but uh, adding real animals, Tekken. Oh shit! Yeah. Come on. Oh, he's like Fox. It's not gonna do nothing. Now, that was a missed opportunity. He could have exploded into the small circles. Oh, shit. I am not okay. Oh, yes! I just wanted to finish someone off with that attack. Oh, my God. The audience are so ugly. They're like PS1 level. P possibly below. But who cares about the audience, right? I just never really saw them up close like that. I'm getting really far. I guess because of stamina, it makes everything more easier. Oh, I, I don't think I, I don't think this is gonna be easy. <laughs> Very intimidating team. Let's punch the shit out of a dragon lizard man real quick. Oh, this is the Geese Howard song. I said, "No, you're fighting the boss."
Man, I gotta say, this is a great, this is a great year for Terry Bogard. Just his character alone. I guess you could say SNK, period, because they're getting all this attention. But this is the second fighting game that Terry has made a guest appearance in. Basically, a game that wasn't his. First, he, um, earlier this year, I think in March, he was in fighting EX Lair. And he was, they made him dumb brawl looking at His arms were beefy as hell. I think I played him on the channel. Uh... I don't think it's, I had him as a video though, but I know I played him during the stream. But this is his second game, and it's freaking Smash, the biggest one of all. Like, shit. So not only, I, I think Fighting EX Player is arguably the smallest fighting game compared to all the other ones. So he appeared in both the smallest and the largest fighting game of the year. Oh, that's disgusting. Get that JoJo shit out of my face. Yeah, she should have died. Oh, my difficulty one. I'm going to take your life away for that one. Punch a woman. <laughs> I'm sort of my fault for playing with my food. I just wanted to get that super in. You know how it is. Maybe hopefully I can get my intensity back up. Oh, I forgot about the maze part. Then it's a boss. Probably going to be Master Hand. Crazy Hand. That's. I don't know how Terry's going to do with that one. Now this don't look like South Town. Oh my God, this character is more heavier than I than he looks. Come on, Bogard, Booger. Oh shit. Oh my God. <laughs> I should just side B throughout the whole thing. I gotta do this again one day. Just side B. Thought I'll be able to get through that. Let's see. Shit. <laughs> oh wow. Master Hand and Crazy Hand, isn't it? Uh, oh! Oh! This is actually pretty cool. Oh! Respect! What if Akuma just came out after I beat everyone? That'd be so awesome. He just came out. Long ass health bar. <laughs> Shin Akuma, arguably. That was a missed opportunity. They could have had Shin Akuma at least be a boss character. I mean... But give him Marvel vs. Capcom stuff. Like his electric Tatsumaki. Don't make him easy. Give him Kamehameha Harukens. Make him boss worthy. That's what Sakurai should have done. Because you don't want if you don't want another Ryu in the game. We already have it like Ken, so. Having him as a boss would have been awesome. I'm just beating their ass. There's gotta be something after this. This is too easy. Dead. That was too easy. That's it. Huh. Okay. Alright. Oh, wait, there's more. Oh, crap. Master Hand and Crazy. Oh, okay. It's all over. Uh. I like Terry Bullcard. He's a very fun character. Hands down, my number one pick. I'm definitely gonna try to main him he's a character i didn't know i wanted when i when i heard he was coming i wasn't super hype i was like 50 50 um because i'm not as familiar with king of fighters or fate of fear any of snk games as much as i am capcom i'm familiar but not super familiar um but he just he made up for that hype for my lack of hype uh my excitement that's how good he played and uh, so I probably put an ass load of SNK songs in here. Way more than, um... Who else is in the game? Someone... Sonic! Sonic doesn't have as, uh, as many songs as I'd like him to have. 
he's actually no cloud 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 is the one who barely has any goddamn song not sonic sonic's all right they, they could have done better with sonic but cloud like cloud how many cloud like song like two songs even that sephiroth's theme song like i was yeah i might not have beat fighting the fancy seven but i heard most of their goddamn soundtracks I uh, know for someone that never really beat the game, I know I asked a load of shit about that. Uh, I kind of regret knowing as much as I did, because certain thing events that happened on the um, on the game aren't gonna surprise me when I get to it. Lately on my channel, I've been playing old Capcom games, but eventually I'll get to SNK sooner than you think. Sooner than you think. We'll start with Fatal Fury, of course. And work our way up. But SNK has way more fighting games than Capcom. There's fighting games that people don't even know about. No one really pays attention to. And like. I feel like they shout out a fighting game every every week. I don't know. They have like your Fatal Furies. Your King of Fighters. Your Art of Fighting. Your main series. But then you have these, these random fighting games. Like World Heroes. Aggressors of Dark Combat. Moopa Dupa. Like they literally just shit out random names. And it's so weird. Fist Sweat. Foot Fungus Combat, like, <laughs> I can't even remember all the names, there's so many fighting games they made. And the fighting games you'll never see ever again, obviously. <laughs> it's just too much. You know what? Neo Geo was the most expensive console at the time. You're literally buying an arcade machine in your house. And I was wondering how. I think the Neo Geo stopped. When did it start? And hey, that was it. I gotta look at the video for Sakurai thing again. It was around Super Nintendo's time, right? I think it died in 2004. People say that that, that console literally had the longest lifespan out of all of them. Oh, that's dope. That's so cool. Can I get this fucking confetti out of the way? There we go. That's going to be the thumbnail for this video. So cool. So cool. So cool. Final results. Hey, retro. What a fun. I'm definitely going to try to main this. I'm actually going to put time into this character. Holy shit. Oh, well, I gotta see that thing again. Ah, that's cute. Anyway. But yo, Terry, bro. Holy shit. Oh, <laughs> God. This is... Ah, like... I like Bowser. But this dude is like my favorite, bro. He has the highest score. Look at that. First was that bitch-ass plant. Now it's Terry. <laughs> well, guys, uh... I could just ramble on and keep spewing my love for this character and the way he feels when I'm playing. But uh, it's about to hit 20 minutes, so I'm about to end this video here. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe for more content like this. And I'll no, I like this character so much, I'm gonna bust my ass and try to get this internet working on this Switch. It works on my PS4, it works on my every device in this house except my goddamn Switch. But maybe I'm I'm gonna have to go the extra mile to get. This this online working, but yeah, guys. Uh, peace.